how does menopause contribute to anxiety symptoms? What can be done to manage them? Um, anxiety, in fact, mood changes, mood-related issues are quite common with menopause. So why, how? We're talking about female reproductive hormones. Why does it affect the the, your mood. In menopause, the ovaries production of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, or these sex hormones, is reduced. We know that. This also affects the brain. It's not just that the production is reduced in the ovaries. It also has an effect on the brain, and this leads to an imbalance of other hormones, particularly the hormones that provoke anxiety, that is cortisol and adrenaline those shoot up while the ones that make us feel comfortable relaxed happy that calm us down like serotonin and endorphins the happy hormones they decrease that's the problem so that is why you can be going through the menopause and experience mood changes and including anxiety but in addition to that in addition to the problem that you have with the home with the hormone imbalance affecting other hormones in the brain is the fact that because of the imbalance of the estrogen, progesterone, the effect of that on the rest of the body, for example, hot flushes, night sweats, joint aches, night sweats affecting your sleep, memory fog, so many other physical symptoms that happen in menopause also contribute to make you feel less well mentally. So that can increase the stress and anxiety. So you would potentially feel less at your best. So these are some of the reasons why you would have these mood problems. So not only is there a direct effect on the brain hormones, but other experience, the other symptoms that develop because of menopause, uh, because of the reduced estrogen affecting other parts of the body contribute to that over, overall sense of anxiety. So it's very common, like I said before, there was a study that was done recently with nearly 6,000 women going through men menopause and the perimenopause, and nearly 95% of them reported experiencing a negative change in their mood and emotions during the menopause. And guess what? stress and anxiety were at the top of the list. So the common symptoms that many women talk about are the feeling of tension, feeling nervous, worried, concerned. You might end up feeling less confident, frequently second guessing yourself, even having panic attacks, just out of the blue, panicking and panic attacks, feeling less motivated, not willing to take risks like before. The general sense of peace or equilibrium is just affected and women can feel inadequate, incapable or incompetent. And of course, there could also be physical symptoms like sweating, trembling, you know, like a basket of nerves, breathing very fast, racing heart and, and so on. All this could happen in somebody who never ever experienced anxiety or it could be somebody who did have anxiety before they got into perimenopause and it's become worse let me know uh, what your experience with menopause is are you just curious are you going through menopause symptoms have you got a question around menopause I remember i cannot make a diagnosis or treat you um, on this stream we are providing health information for the sake of educating ourselves learning about you know conditions and so on if you need specific medical advice please contact your own doctor i do have an email health information service you're very much welcome to use that go to my website askwayhealth.org scroll down the home page right in the middle you will see the email service and we can have a further conversation there important to understand first of all that this could happen why it happens and examples of when it's happening so you can recognize them and i think for me what's particularly frustrating and not just for me i think you know any woman would feel that is you know you've gotten to that stage in life because the age at which menopause usually happens we're talking about late very late 40s into early 50s commonly so you're talking about getting to that stage in life where most women would probably have gotten a grasp on their life career or business things are finally sort of falling into place or they have done for some time and you're just trying to enjoy things now enjoy steering things forward kids growing or are off and doing their own thing so you've got more time for yourself and your partner or husband or you know or you might even have come out of a relationship and you're just just wanting to do things that sense of having discovered yourself you know that you've come to that age where your 
of you've picked up experience from your 20s and 30s and this is the time where that experience is now able to drive you forward you're able to do things because you know that you've done this you've you've done that before you've got the t-shirt and you know not to take a step in the wrong direction and this is the time when you should really be enjoying the power of that experience you're leading in your own life and then menopause knocks at the door so i i think that's frustrating for for many women anyway let's talk about what you can do about it because yes these are troublesome symptoms but can you do anything absolutely a lot of things can be done starting off the bat you can help yourself proper nutrition and healthy eating cutting up processed food and sugars and alcohol making sure that you get regular exercise of whatever form you know whatever form of exercise we talked about how there's an imbalance of the happy hormones the endorphins exercise would help to increase those levels of your happy hormones so that would help and of course sleep sleep is so important if you don't sleep regularly just giving your cortisol excuse to just shoot straight up and cortisol is the stress hormone look at stress management techniques find some that you, you're good at you're good at performing or that you're happy to practice It'll be mindfulness techniques so it's worthwhile checking out some of those relaxation exercises exercises or meditating those are ways to just sort of calm yourself take self-care days take self-care moments you know tell the people at home that this is my time delegate activities or delegate tasks to free up time for yourself things like that and then consider getting professional help speak to your doctor you look at therapy support groups and of course there is room for medication which can include hormone replacement therapy there could be some, some people who don't want to go down the route of hrt there could be alternatives that could help so the key thing really is that there are options there are ways to move forward with this and to get better so this is how i think we can answer that question how does menopause contribute to anxiety symptoms and what can be done to manage them so